I did not see the contact between he and Lisa. He did put his hands on her, and, it, and so it did look like a push, and certainly that's, you know, when you see Lisa falling back like that, and Lisa visibly upset. The officials, by the way, are still looking at the replays that we are feeding them of uh, the incident so they can uh, look at the participants. This is going to take a while yeah. because there's a lot of parties involved. And to me, the automatic suspensions are, are Candace Parker and Clinette Pearson. Without question, I think those two should be suspended and fined. Renee Brown will have a busy night. Donna Orinder will have a busy night. All those in positions of power and decision-making in the league will be reviewing this tape for a while. The prior play between Ford and Parker, I thought, was what triggered this emotional reaction. And the officials can go all the way back to that. Huh, Bill? I know they said, give us a game, let us go on home. Let's go. had a, a melee to break out here in this game. See, the unfortunate part of this is Cheryl Ford is doing her absolute best to play pe peacemaker, and she might end up with a serious injury. She is sitting down here in the middle of the floor, and in this instance, she tries to play peacemaker. And if Pearson, it's ha it has to be an automatic suspension. That, that, without question, I think Parker as well, Pam. Mm. Ford grabbing onto Pearson, and eventually she'll hurt her knee. Parker and Pearson have indeed been in, been ejected from this game. Uh, and, and Milton Jones, I think, clearly did not have a view of what Rick Mahorn was doing. Because from everything I saw of Rick Mahorn's actions, he truly was trying to play peacemaker. And, and, and you could see him. I mean, he, he reacted immediately, looked at Bill, and then started trying to pull his players back. Delisha Milton Jones also has been ejected. She is the player who went up and hit Mahorn on the back after he put his hands on Lisa Leslie. Yeah. And, and she it, fell backwards. And again, you see, I think you had the same view that Milton Jones did, and that's why there was confusion, because you see Lisa Leslie tumble, you're going to get upset, of course. <laughs> Mahorn also has been ejected. Wow. So Mahorn and Pearson for Detroit, Parker and Milton Jones for Los Angeles. <laughs> I wish we had a different angle of where Mahorn was. You and Rebecca saw different things. Have a seat, y'all. Sit down. So she's he's way over her head right now. We know that. We know that. She won't be here in the finals. Keisha Brown to the free throw line. I warned you early in the game about... Emotions were running high throughout the course of the game. They get tangled up. Conversation ensues. Parker takes the bait of Pearson and then melee. Rebecca Lobo is with Lisa Wesley. Lisa, from your point of view, what happened to instigate the melee with a few seconds left in this game? Um, I, I think that um, when we were boxing out, um, I didn't see how Candace and um, Planette, uh, Planette got tangled up, but the last, when I looked back, I saw Candace was on the floor and she was on top of her. And my thought was just to run over and try to, you know, get her off of her or help Candace up or, you know, help Candace. And then um, on my way running back, the, the coach just stepped in and he pushed me down. and. I have no idea why he did that. He should have. He was closer to his player on top of my my teammate. But you know, it's just really sad that that happened because you know, as a role model, it is just really difficult to. I mean, this is not the way we want to represent ourselves. You know, I'm a mom. I don't want to represent myself like this in front of my daughter. And then to have you know a coach 
push me down. I don't even know why was he pushing me down. I wasn't swinging or hitting anybody. I was just going to go and help my teammate up, you know, and as a veteran, you know, I don't want for Candace to experience this and for her to be down on the floor and her not have a teammate to come help her. Um, I wouldn't have fought anyone because that wasn't even, uh, you know, in my heart, but it was just a really sad thing, you know, that happened and it's unfortunate, but I'm happy we got the win and, you know, our team, we have to learn. We have to learn to, to be able to fight without physically fighting, but at the same time, you know, this is not the way we want to represent ourselves in the WNBA. And, um, you know, for it to be a television game, obviously, <laughs> we'll probably make some highlights, and it's not the way that we want to get attention. Obviously, a big rivalry between Detroit and Los Angeles. Were there any things happening earlier in the game that led to this? Um, <clears throat> maybe the play before uh, when they got tangled on a, a, a rebound. And, and, you know, sometimes the officials have to step in and maybe give the players a warning, but uh, they didn't do that. It was a very physical game from start to finish. And... Um, you know, it escalated, and I think maybe uh, this is the type of game we have to look at and see, you know, are we doing our best job to really control the physicality of the game, and is this the direction we really want to go in? All right, Lisa, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Pam? Uh, good job there, B, and they really deteriorated quickly, and you mentioned this, uh, as did Lisa Leslie with her uh, interview with Rebecca Lobo. This is the play before yes. that got it going. This is really where I think Candace's emotions got the best of her. I, listen, it was a very physical game, and Lisa did the right thing. So Lisa jumps in as a veteran right away and just takes her teammate and says, hey, let's calm down. Now, we got multiple looks of it. I know you and Rebecca had some disagreement as to what Rick Mahorn's intentions were. Clearly, Lisa Leslie feels as though he pushed her. Um, there will be plenty of tape watching. Renee Brown, who fulfills so many roles in the WNBA, has got her hands full. Dee Canner, same thing. Uh, the officials, certainly, I think, could have done a better job. There's no question about that. They needed more control. That call reversal at the end of the game, where Denise brooks Clouser stepped in, it was clearly, looked like Michael Price and Josh Tiven had it Detroit's basketball. There are a lot of wow. things going on in this basketball game, folks.